Okay, everybody, we are back to another beautiful day in the Cataclysm, where the sun always shines and we have no problems to worry about. So, we just finished our first night. We slept the night away safely. And what the hell were we doing? Oh yeah, big mall in the forest. So that's going to be a good question. Do we want to stay here? Or should we look for something? I, I think we got to get away from this mall. We can come back to it later, but trying to get into this now it's it's basically a death sentence we're not going to be able to get in here so let's take a look maybe we can let's see what we got here Have a crowbar oh that's right let's see if we can get a, a better weapon Cudgel is 10 bash plus 2 to hit. Let's make that. Oh, nice. Our crowbar fits inside of our dive bag. Perfect. Okay. We have some volume and some weight. Let's go ahead and take some items. Hacksaw, hammer, lighter, scissors, pliers, screwdriver, exacto knife. We'll wear the ankle sheath. We need the gas lamp. Wearing our headlamp. I'm going to put on our gloves. protein rations and we're hungry now let's go ahead and eat something Nutritious and delicious hearty meat soup. All right, sounds good. Okay, we are satisfied and hydrated. So let's go ahead and take some clean water. Peanut butter candies, some cheese veggies and peaches a couple protein rations all right we'll take the cigarettes with us health care to one what do we have We already have healthcare at one. our way over to that other evac shelter. We're going to go through the forest, which can be a little bit dangerous. Let's 
So I have my survival currently at zero. These little bushes here, you search and you can see the uh, survival goes up a bit. So to get to your first level is pretty easy. To be honest, I don't really find much that's useful. If you have a wilderness start, you might be able to get some food this way. I see our survival's already at 82% to the first level. We got survival one. Perfect. No. Oh. There's a dog. Large worm. Large mutated subterranean creature. Similar to a night crawler. Fanged mouth, long slender body that comes up to your knees. Alright, well let's get the hell out of here. Oh shit, we're not gonna be able to outrun this guy. So, all right, I'll keep a note to myself. Don't fight worms. What the hell is this? Raspberries. I don't know. So in the summertime when these things uh, bloom, uh, whatever, you can harvest them and get some food. But in the spring, they're not available yet. Ah, shit. I stepped into a raspberry bush, and my head is bleeding. <laughs> okay. Spider, 29 away. Okay, we'll ignore that. So when you drop your item, you can see here, you attempt to put pressure on the bleeding wound. So if you're not holding anything in your hand, your character will try to stop the bleeding automatically. There you go. Bleeding's gone. Alright, so we found a long stout branch. That means we can make a quarter staff now. A quarter staff has 26 bash with plus 3 to hit. Our cudgel is 10 bash plus 3 to hit. So we'll go ahead and make this here while we're in the woods. And using a quarter staff. 
smooth, sturdy staff, light and well balanced. It's surprisingly easy to handle. All right, so we just got a weapon that is at over two times as better as the one we had. Wild roots. We're not in any big need of food right now. Actually, while we're here, let's eat our peanut butter candy and some peaches and syrup. And because it's the cataclysm and we don't care, we're just going to litter in the forest. Drop our empty containers. Alright, we made it through the forest. Another evac shelter here, but it looks like this one is vandalized. So we're probably not going to find anything worthwhile here. Skate park, art piece, pavilion, restaurant. Subway station, guard, guard, finish it. Alright, I don't see anything great here. First aid kit. Oh, two more first aid kits. All right, we're loaded up now. Got bandages, antiseptic aspirin. We are we're good on. Medical items. What do we have here? A cabin. Uh, 9 a.m. Let's go ahead and make our way to the cabin. Safe mode on, just in case. What do we have here? Chestnuts. All right. And a bulldog. Okay. Oh, a couple of them. And there's our cabin. Okay. 
maybe we will get lucky and find something here. Charcoal and an arrow rest. Oh, and a plank. We got a wood stove. A balaclava. Take that. Uh, this is good. There's a pillow and a bed here case we need to sleep. Okay, nothing really here. It's a trail though, let's I'll just keep kinda of wandering. Spider's pretty far away. I've never really taken these forest trails before. This one seems pretty safe. Peanut bush. In autumn we can get peanuts, okay. We found the road, and there's a hunting blind down here. There's nothing in it. Okay. Uh, all right, let's follow the road north. Safe mode is... Um, Pretty handy to have. You use the exclamation point. It'll stop your character from moving. If you see an enemy or something of danger. Uh, you know, I'm just holding down the button right now to move, so... It's a good thing to be using this. We have a Graken. Day pack. Alright, there's some items up here. So a Gracken. An Eldritch Monstrosity. These guys don't seem to really attack you or bother you too much. I don't think I've ever been attacked by them before. But they will fight zombies. Oh. Maybe. day pack. It's dropped our dodging down to four. Now that our torso is more encumbered, our dodge is going to start dropping. Let's, let's see what dive bag has. 30 capacity. 
day pack has 24 capacity. Alright, we'll drop the day pack first if we need to. Hey, a farm. And a silo. Perfect. So silos you can climb on top of. Get a better view of the area. campsite a small warehouse all right we'll hit the field campsite first we'll go to that small warehouse I've never been to a small warehouse either oh uh, what do we have for movement penalties 150. We could maybe use the sleeping bag since we're on the move. Oh, there's beer. Alright, we have a tough zombie coming in not damaged at all. We did 20 damage on a critical. Ah, he's grabbed us. And we have an infected right arm now. Left arm is bleeding. Son of a gun. Oh, hey. A shotgun with one shell. We have no space for it. Well, let's take it out of his inventory. And let's use some antiseptic on our arm. Oh, shit. Oh, no. We almost died. Catch our breath. Smash all these little assholes up. They all revived too. Uh, hammer. Nothing like a. Uh, oh shit. Nothing like a smoke after almost getting killed by some zombies. Alright, let's go ahead and eat some aspirin. And what do we have here? Activate antiseptic. Left leg. 
put a bandage on our torso. And a septic on the torso for a little bonus healing. Right arm. Torso and our arms are cold right now. We have a wound on our torso that's bandaged. Our left arm is bandaged and our leg. So let's put a bandage on our right arm. Okay. We have 20% drop in speed for the pain. Was it worth it? I'm not thinking so. Okay. There's an oil lamp, we'll take that too. Oil boy. Okay. This is kind of a bust. We have wheels, but there's a security system. Hey, it worked. We have a vehicle. Would you look at that? Although we are going to run out of gas very soon. So we'll need to get a rubber hose. Siphon some items out. Yeah, here. Alright, not gonna risk it. Oh, there's a ton. 
of zombie runners. Wheels. It's got no gasoline tanks, though. We are not finding much here. Oh, ton of cooking books. Cooking and for fun books. place was not as good as I was hoping. Well, at least we found something to read. That'll help us get over our pain we're having right now.
Okay. Where did our all about swords go? Okay, I guess we lost it. Three player, great. Our focus is down to six. That food will help us out. And of course, a cigarette. I guess we'll just head north. Unless there's no There's no refrigerator. That's why you don't eat while you're driving. I think we are done. No gas. Alright, well, what better way than to just crash into the forest while eating cheese? again. What is that? Pound of dirt. Webbed zombie. What of us the hell are Oh boy, there's a ton of monsters here. Movement cost 250. Let's try there. Firefighter zombies still coming. Monsters killed. Too bad. 
Oh, the halogen bar. There we go. 45 bash. So this is, uh, this is like the premium crowbar here. We'll go ahead and drop our one hacksaw makeshift crowbar. Very, very nice. Bats, huh? Oh, did we lose our t-shirt? We lost our shirt. It got ripped off of us. No wonder we're cold. Arms too, wow. All right, we got some zombies coming now. the halogen bar. Twenty-six damage. Leg is bit. Holy crap. Right arm. We're grabbed. Tiny pink tabs resembling postage stamps, already dosed with some sort of drug. Really only useful for entertainment, will cause hallucinations. Well, I think what will be, uh, we know what we're going to be doing tonight. Uh, what the heck is a Demetric? Wasp. This the size of a dog. All right. back at the 4.8 moderate pain I guess we'll have another aspirin I would very much like to get into the house. There's our staff. Okay. That zombie killed the flowers. The 
zombie bites my torso and I'm blinded. He bit me in the eyes. Torso is cold still. All right, ooh, cream soda. There we go. Try to get into the house up by the forested area. We are not having much luck down in the open. Hydrangea. Dogs didn't see us. Everything's a poor fit. We'll at least wear the tank top then. Still cold on arms and torso. Beaded necklace, halter top. Long underwear top, we can wear that. Or a sweatshirt. This gives 30 warmth versus 30 warmth, 95 coverage, 111 protection. Less encumbrance for the underwear top though, so we'll wear. Long underwear top. All right, our head is cold. Wear balaclava. There we go. Look like a cute little robber. Bash thirty cat. Bad. An atomic lamp. There we go. No batteries for me. Oh, 
Oh, we got some some marijuana. Eh, why not? Got some, some freaks used to live here. Bedroom is. We got a blanket and pillows. Windows are closed. All right, well, we'll hang, hang out here tonight. See what happens uh, tomorrow morning. Probably head to bed here soon. Oh, rest up some of these wounds. And then push in a little bit. See if we can find anything in the city. Maybe we'll sleep uh, for a few hours, get to nighttime, so we can do some raiding at night. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.